Hello, welcome back. We are going to paint the lilies and I've got my colors here already. So let's get started. I have the blue and the raw ultramarine. Ultramarine blue and raw umber and white and um, some of these markings are quite light so we're going to need a yellow green a chartreuse um, so we're going to have yellow and blue more of the yellow than blue and I kind of like that green I'm going to set aside a little bit. I'm also going to add a tiny bit of white to that yellow green so I can make it quite light. All right, so you can it'll be able to stand out. Now, let me see here. And I have my the liquid is right in here, so I can um, use my brushes. Actually, that liquid is kind of dry already. I was only able to use just a tiny bit, so I'm going to put a little more in there. Yep. Alright, so I want this flowers to have a little more of that pink coloring this here it's a petal in the center and I'm adding a little lighter yellow to shade. That um, it's that lily bud. It's that bud that it's almost ready to open. So by this stage, most of the painting it's it's already finished. So you now you're just kind of picking at it and adding little details, highlights.
Uh oh, too much. Uh oh don't get aggressive with your painting I love that green color against the it's almost a fuchsia peachy pink with some fuchsia in in it I've seen this lilies from memory. I remember this. Some of them even have a little bit of um, almost like a yellow. So of course when you mix the le uh, your yellow with your pink you get your peachy, your peach orange warm colors add a little bit right there there's a little petal in there Okay, so now in the center, we have those markings that we need to bring out more, and that's why I got, I remember I, how I mixed my yellow-green, so that I could come in here and emphasize that light. to clean that. Got a little bit of pink in there. And I'm going to clean this. It's getting messy. have your napkin ready to clean your brush if it gets too lumpy that's important mm -hmm. 
or a Q-tip, that would work too. some of that green, put some back in there. Okay, I think I'm about done with the painting. I do, I will have to do a little the pistol in here, has to be done. But I think I'm gonna um, work on it. That's the one area that I do like to have, to have it semi-dry before I put any more detail on top of it because it, it, it won't get um, smudged if I don't get it the first time. And so So what I'm doing right now is I don't want my painting, the, the petals to look flat. I want them to have some, some volume. And I'm coming in with a very light pink, almost white, and I'm enhancing those areas where the flower bends, so the petals bend a little and they would catch the light, so. So this one is a little more. Okay, well, I hope that you enjoyed this project, and I think I, um, I will be posting a picture of it, or I actually I'll e probably email it to you when it dries, if, you, if it might be helpful. So, at that point you'll be able to see the little lines, the little pistols that I do. but it's a little bit wet for me to do that right now. But I think that's, usually if there's little lines, I wait to do the anything that's real, like little hairs or lines, then like, uh, those are almost like little threads since that come out. I usually wait until the very end, 
right almost um, at the same time when I'm ready to sign it is when I like to wait and do the those type of details. I think it's a little too short contrast. All right. Thank you for watching. Um, let's see, I'm gonna clean this a little bit also. Also, oh, I wanted to share with you something else that I think I'm not, I'm not sure yet, but you might see this. I might do. I took a big photograph of the vase at the bottom, and it's got the. It's almost like the look of a uh, Battenberg lace back here. And I thought that maybe that might look kind of attractive back in here. Uh, so I think I'm probably going to be doing that. Um, so it's going to be something like this. So I actually put um, Battenberg lace and I took a photo and that's what that looks like. So I may be, I may do that in this area, but just something else. I... All right. Thank you so much for watching and talk to you later. Bye bye.